In this video we're going to look at how we can use the trapezium rule to estimate the um, integral of some more difficult calculations than we've dealt with so far. So for instance how can we estimate the value of the integral um, of 3 to the power of x between the limits of um, x equals 4 and x equals 2. So uh, how does this idea work really? Well um, let's just do a, a rough sketch. So 3 to the x is going to look something along this line. So if we have between 2 and 4, we are trying to find the area under the curve between these values. Now, um, if I just join up those two um, points, we can see that we get um, a trapezium and that it's roughly the same as the curve but there is a there's a small area between the um, top of the trapezium and the curve so we're, we're going to slightly um, overestimate the area here if we use one trapezium. Now if I was to take this and I was to split it into say two trapeziums then um, the area that I'm uh, got in excess is um, is going to be reduced and if I have two more trapeziums, so I've got four trapeziums in total, then uh, I've got an even more accurate answer and if I could have an infinite number of trapeziums I'm actually going to get the correct area. So the number of trapeziums we're going to use is um, is what's known as the, the number of strips, so four strips means basically four trapeziums. So uh, where are these, uh, where are the um, the sides of these trapeziums going to be, where the length is going to reach the x-axis. Well, the first one is going to be where x is 2 and then the next one is going to be where x is 2.5 and then where x is 3, x is 3.5 and then x is 4. And it's worth noting the number of values we have to evaluate is always going to be one more than the number of strips. In order to calculate the areas of these trapeziums, we're going to need to know the, the distance between the two parallel lines, which we've, we've now got. It's going to be 0.5 each time. And we need to know the heights of the trapeziums. So that's evaluating 3 to the x. So 3 to the power of 2 is uh, 9. 3 to the power of 2.5, well, I'm going to result in uh, use my calculator here. So um, I'm going to use four decimal places, I think. And it will normally, um, in the exam, uh, you're going to have a partially completed table and you can use the same accuracy as used in the table. Or often they'll tell you. So. Uh, is uh, 46.7654 and 3 to the power of 4 is a nice integer 81. Now the uh, we don't actually have to go and calculate each of these trapeziums one at a time. We can actually use um, a formula which is given to us in the uh, formula book. So this integral is going to be approximately um, the value of half times the height. So the height here, or, or the width of the strip here, is 0 0.5, and it's easy to evaluate that from the uh, the table here, as these strips are 0 0.5 apart, and then multiplied by well let's think about it, if we're going to add all these trapeziums up now the first and the last value only occur in uh, one trapezium, all the other values occur in two trapeziums so I'm going to have to add uh, 9 and 81 which are either end and then two lots of all of the other values
and then I'm going to type that into the calculator. And that's given me 67.1752. And there's my area of my curve, or an estimate for the area of the curve between these two values.